A bus driver was enraged when his passengers started yelling at a new mom because her baby was crying, so he kicked all the mean heads out. But one of them called the cops on him in retaliation. Erd, can you quiet your baby? My eardrums are about to burst. Better still, why don't you just get down? It's still early in the morning, and we're sick of it. Oh, I'm sorry, everyone, said Sandra apologetically. Joe isn't usually this fussy, but he's been crying a lot lately. Look at the birdies outside, Joe. See, the weather is so nice today. Sandra tried everything she could to calm her crying baby, but nothing worked. Meanwhile, the passengers on the bus were constantly complaining, annoyed by Joe's crying. But everything changed when the bus driver, David, stepped in. It was a beautiful morning in Florida, and David was driving his bus around the city as usual. He was a father of three and worked as a bus driver to provide for them. For David, his job was everything, and he loved it, every part of it. He would assist the elderly board the bus safely and be particularly cautious when driving with children. Besides that, he loved greeting his passengers and occasionally chit-chatting with them while he drove them around. One day, a woman boarded David's bus with her baby boy. Oh God, do we have a little traveler with us today? Hello, young man. I'm the bus driver, David. He said with his big fat smile, and the woman, Sandra, returned his smile. This is Joe, David. Joe, say hi, said Sandra, and Joe smiled at David. Oh no, that's a lovely smile. I believe I have some competition here. He joked, and Joe began to giggle. Sandra took her place on the bus, and as it began to move, she gently rocked Joe to sleep. He fell asleep after a few minutes, but on the first stop, people started getting on and off the bus, which caused a disturbance, waking Joe, who started crying. Oh, it'll be Oak. It's fine, Joe. Sandra tried her best to calm her baby, but it didn't work. Enraged by all the crying, some passengers started yelling at Sandra. That baby is crying as if you won't see another day. This is so frustrating, yelled a woman from the front seat. Sandra apologized to them, though it wasn't her fault. However, passengers weren't ready to stop throwing insults at her. Meanwhile, David witnessed what was going on through his rearview mirror and was enraged at the rude passengers. He abruptly applied the brakes and ordered the mean heads to get off his bus. Why are y'all acting like you haven't seen a kid before? Ah, if you don't want to travel with a baby, just get down. But why should we? We're not the ones creating chaos here, argued a man. It's her and her child. Not to mention, we pay for our rides. Well, sir, replied David sternly, so did she. And because you don't have the decency to show some respect to a woman with a crying baby, just get the hell down from my bus. Because if you keep shouting, I can't drive, and I can't endanger the other passengers' lives. The rude passengers grumbled, arguing they deserved to be on the bus and vowed to complain to the management. But David still kicked them out. G.E.T. lost. He yelled at them. Then he approached Sandra and asked if she needed any help. I think we need to change his diaper. I'm sorry, I'm a new mom. I'm all over the place trying to learn everything properly. Could you hold in while I change it? She asked, and David nodded. Sure. It can be quite a task to care for these little ones, David said while Sandra was busy changing the diaper. I myself have three children. Take it from my experience that raising babies is no joke. Oh, wait, not like that. Let me show you how to do it properly. David took over the diaper changing and showed Sandra how it was done. By the time baby Joe was in his fresh diaper, he had stopped crying. Here you go, said David. Thank you so much for your help, David, Sandra said gratefully. Then David returned to his seat, ready to drive to the day's next stop. Suddenly, he noticed a police car pulled right in front of his bus. A cop got on the bus and asked him to get down. You need to come with me to the station, sir, Officer Benson said. We received a complaint from one of your passengers that you pulled over in an undesignated parking space and that you threw him out of the bus illegally. David looked outside his window and realized he'd indeed parked illegally. He'd been so pissed off due to the chaos on his bus that he hadn't noticed it. Look, officer, I can explain. That's not true. I do agree about the parking thing, but I didn't kick them out just like that, he argued, but his efforts were futile. 
You can explain in court, sir. You'd better be ready, Officer Benson said, issuing him a ticket. Lock your bus, and you're coming with me. And he took David in his car. Don't worry, David. I will help you. Sandra cried after him and followed them in a taxi. Later, when David's case was being heard, the rude passenger who had complained about him appeared in court. He was certain David would be grilled about what he'd done. But luckily for David, Sandra came to court with her lawyer dad, and he recognized the rude man as his employee. He defended David's case and agreed to pay the fine on his behalf. Then he fired the rude man who had ridiculed his daughter and grandson. But that's not where the good things for David ended. Sandra's dad hired David to work with him at a much higher salary than he was earning as a bus driver. You protected my daughter. You deserve this, he said. Meanwhile, the judge had something important to say to the rude man after the case was over that he'd never forget. He said, Law is meant for protecting citizens, sir. We can't let people slide for misusing it. I hope this serves as a lesson for you. And let's not forget that every person, man, woman, anyone, they deserve to be treated with respect. Share this story with your friends. It might brighten their day and inspire them.